pretty crazy day. Hey. Let's get some sleep. Splitting headache. Well, why don't you stay in bed? Take it easy. Too. No, I have to take those wallpaper books back over the store. No, you don't have to. That's well, not important. I promised the woman I would. Well, then give them to me and I'll take them back. It's not to pick a deal. It's just over at the mini mall. Will you come home for dinner tonight? I'll try. See ya. See ya. showing houses, but don't worry, honey, we can page him. Sue, Sue, please, just calm down. What did the doctor say? My mucus plug broke. He said the baby could be coming in two weeks, but I'm afraid. You gotta find Scott. No, it really is. It's a great house for family. Is it zoned for horses? Is that what you want? Well, actually, that would be a nice option. If, I mean, you know, if we can find something in our price range. The pain in my back is so bad I can't even sit. But I'm not due for another month. Oh, uh, yeah. What did he say? To go to the hospital. I'm in labor. How can this be? This is impossible. No, 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 Sue, it's not impossible. That kid in there wants to come out. Oh, my Scott. No, no, Art's going to track him down. Look, I'll get you some shoes and we'll get going. I got, I got to, I got to change. I can't go like this. I got to, I got to pack. Oh, look at my hair. Look, you aren't going on the love boat. You're going to have a baby. Here, put these on. Get your ass in gear, and let's get going. Scott, where the hell have you been? Didn't you have your beeper on? Turned it off. I was out of range. What is it? Sue, she went into labor. Labor? Diane took her to the hospital. Whoa. She's fully dilated and crowning. Let's roll her into delivery. Okay, baby, try not to push. Blow, 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 blow. It's showtime. Keep blowing. Try not to push soon. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You're gonna have a baby soon. I can You're see the head. Great, Just honey. keep pushing for me. We're doing great. Six, but I can see the head, but seven, I want you to relax. Oh, relax, for just, relax for just a minute, all right? Relax for a second now. Relax for just a second. All right. All right. Now how about one more big push for me, all right? Come on. Now. One more big push. One more big one. One. Sue. Sue. Call a code. Okay, give her a bolus of lidocaine, 100 milligrams. Let's innovate her quick. Code blue, delivery room five. Repeat code blue, delivery room five. Give her some. Bite, what happened? Right? Why isn't she moving? Look, everything's under control, but you're going to have to wait outside. Get her out of here. Hey, Shelby, what's happening? Everything's under control. Diana's going to be up there just a minute. Is she going to be okay? Everything's under control. Okay, All right, let's get inside here. Oh, I need PG set up. I need some oxygen. I want to see vitals. My wife, Susan Grimes, has she delivered yet? Oh, uh, Mrs. Grimes, um, well, that's not... Uh, ha have a seat. And, well, if she's uh, still in labor, I want to be with her, all right? I'll be right with you.
What's going on? Let's What happened? What happened? She's gone. Some sort of freak thing. One in a million. Gone? But they saved the baby, Scott. You, you got a baby girl. She's dead. This is not something we can predict. What, you might tell me, what the hell happened in there? Your wife died of an aneurysm, a, a sudden rupture of a blood vessel. It's doubly tragic under these circumstances, but it's the kind of thing that could have happened, uh, well, at, at any time. What do you mean at any time? It obviously had something to do with the labor. Can't you see that? There are no real warning signs with something like that. Why didn't you try to save her instead of the baby? She was more important. Believe me, it wasn't an either-or situation. Hey, I don't know what to believe. All I know is that my wife, 28 years old, in perfect health, comes into the hospital to have a baby and dies? But this is not the Middle Ages. How the hell did you let this happen? May I say something? Dr. Yamura is your daughter's uh, pediatrician. If it wasn't for Dr. Spencer and Abrams, the baby would have been lost too. Everything that could have been done was, and then some. If this is a nightmare, I hope that somebody wakes me up real quick. She's beyond the danger point, but it will probably be at least another week before she can come home. What did she weigh? A little over six pounds, which is really quite good. Do you have any family to help out? No. I got a younger brother, but he's in the Air Force in Korea. What about your in-laws? They're in Michigan. We're not very close. Well, then reach out for your friends. We're going to need help. Are you sure you're up to this? I thought you said that she was okay. She'll be okay. But don't expect a newborn on a box of cereal. She was premature. She had a stressful delivery, and she's severely jaundiced. I just don't want you to be upset. I'm beyond upset. What? What's with her eyes? Is she in pain? That tape protects her eyes from the phototherapy light. It's the best way to treat the jaundice. Flight 3 
22, service to Atlanta is now departing at gate 12. Flight 714, commuter service from San Francisco, is now arriving at gate 7B. First time I came here was for the 56 Rose Bowl. That was the year we beat UCLA by a field goal. Must have made your trip. Yeah, everything went great. We've been having a miserable winter. It was like summer here. If I could have talked Margaret into moving, I think I would have stayed. Can't beat the weather. 